Hey guys, welcome to another episode of American Flag. I think that's what we called it. American Flag, somebody reminded me. Um, and I'm thinking I might going to stick with that, I guess. American Flag, welcome to the American Flag show. So um, today, I got a lot of stuff I, I'm going to be uploading. So it's like every day I probably I have a new, I have something new. Okay, so I got so much product, it's crazy. Okay, so um, what I want to talk about today is Jonathan Majors. But before I do that, please like and subscribe. Okay, and I do want to give you an update about the um, the, the church thing. She actually. Um, my pastor accepted she accepted that she's really happy and they're gonna go through with my idea with me on board of course which is really cool okay so we're gonna be doing that um, if you listen to my last video about my church you will understand like basically what happened okay so I want to talk about Jonathan Majors I made two videos on my mostly sci-fi 2 channel about this Jonathan Majors, it went a little a mini viral, should I say? Because I was one of the first guys that kind of found out new information about Jonathan Majors, and I made a point of why he probably has ruined his career, or his career has been ruined, right? Um, this was before anybody else knew that there was some trouble brewing from other people that knew him and started saying some stuff about him okay so i was one of the first person people first channels to have it on mostly sci-fi of course that's my job that's what i do so you know if you want some exciting news interesting stuff audio books and all that things go to mostly sci-fi too i'm pretty sure you might like it okay so here it just kind of solidifies what I was talking about in my last two videos about Jonathan Majors. I said in my last video that his career is basically over. He got me too. Okay. Um, as soon as those two stories came out about the director saying that he had a toxic personality. And then the Twitter mob came to attack him. I Then I knew it was over because I was like, he must have said something. He must have upset somebody very powerful. That's what I think. That he has upset somebody very powerful. He has said no to somebody. And... Now they're going after him. We know that almost all black men that are in show business eventually dress up as women. Like Martin Lawrence did it. Um, Wesley Snipes did it. I mean, if you go down the line, you know... Um, the Wayne's brothers did it. They do it voluntarily. <laughs> you don't even have to ask them. They do it voluntarily. Um, so you got many black men that effeminize themselves or make themselves less masculine. You know, Jamie Foxx has done it. You know, so all the powerful people Will Smith, I think he has done it. All your powerful black actors, many of them, I, the only one I could think that didn't do that was like Denzel Washington, right? But a great majority of the of black lead actors have dressed up as women, right? It's like a, some kind of rite of passage. And it has to be like dark skin. You, you haven't noticed that light skin black men you don't find them playing 
this types of women roles, like dressing up as women or whatever. Like back in the days. Right? Um, the two, what do you call these those two guys? The, um, Peel, Kina and Peel or whatever. They've dressed up as women before. So I'm just trying to make a point. What I think is that he said no to something and then they decide to tear him down. Because why do I say that? Because Ezra Miller, <laughs> he is, has, they have proof that all this crazy stuff he's done, right? Throwing chairs at women, you know, a kidnapping children, and he's still getting parts in movies and he's still in The Flash. And all of a sudden now he's out of the news cycle and everybody pretend memory holds what happened to him. And some people say it's because he's part of a certain community and that's why he can get away with it, right? Because he doesn't have to be asked to be feminine. He's doing it on his own. You know, pe people like him, people like Harry Styles, right? That like to dress up in dresses. Right, Dwayne Wade and his son, you know. Jonathan Majors was a so he's a soft spoken individual, but maybe he said, No, I'm not wearing no dress. And you remember uh Terry Cruz was talking about how a vice president grabbed his genitals. And he was two minutes from clocking him, right? You don't see Terry Crews in many movies anymore. Right? So, I think something is... So, this story basically, it says... Um, it's been more than three weeks since Jonathan Major was arrested for an alleged domestic dispute, but the 33-year-old's career is now starting to take a hit. Major's one of Hollywood's hottest young stars was dropped by his manager and publicist on Monday. Yahoo Entertainment can confirm. Considering the actor's first court date is still weeks away, the timing seemingly signals more fallout to come, says one crisis PR expert. Quote, the relationships between a client and their agent and publicists are ones that need to be built on honesty and trust. So this signals to me that the talent team has learned information that goes against their professional mission and will inhibit them from having a working relationship moving forward. Okay, so we already know what happened to him, but the biggest thing is the Army has taken their, or the Marines or whoever has taken the ads away. He had two movies coming up. They they said, nope, we ain't doing any movies with him anymore. And his publicist and agent are gone. It sounds like what, what, what they did with Kanye West. You know, like, when he said something he wasn't supposed to, and then they just wiped out him. Like, we don't even hear Kanye West's name anymore he's become irrelevant now right um basically they're unpersoning him and that that's like newspeak right to unperson somebody to to vaporize george orwell called it vaporization right so this guy harry i mean um jonathan majors is being vaporized he's being unpersoned and you won't hear from him again. I would give him like a couple of months. I think Marvel is probably going to do something. Marvel's going to do something because he doesn't have any representation. So he has the, the Marvel movie, but he doesn't have any representation. And which means... If they're pulling out, knowing that he has like a three movie deal with Marvel, it means they already know the answer. Okay? It means that they already know the answer. That he's going to be dropped from Marvel. This is what I believe. And those people see no more worth in him now. 
okay? Because Disney is going to get it from the Twitter mob if they're going to have to reshoot stuff. And why do I say that that's possible? Because look what they did with Captain Marvel. That was supposed to be Captain Marvel 2, not the Marvels. But nobody likes Brie Larson, so they cut all her parts up. And now the movie is a disaster. It's going to be a disaster. We already know that. It was already postponed like four times because of reshoots, because she's unlikable, right? And so when this guy becomes unlikable, because you don't see black folks protesting for him. And why is that? You don't see people protesting for him in general. It's because somebody said no. He said no to somebody. And he's not part of a special group. Yeah, he's black, but he's a man, right? And he's not part of all that other stuff, that alphabet kind of thing. He only has one infinity stone, and that's black. If he was black and a woman and homosexual or trans or something disabled you know if he had like three or four infinity stones of wokeness then he could survive this but he has no infinity stones Ezra Miller has infin he has like the the, the 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 strongest one what is that one is that the soul stone or something that's the strongest one so even though he only has one he has the strongest one which is part of that certain community okay so i think right now it has changed like it used to be black folks now it's the t community or the whatever the community you want to call them iq whatever they're up here blacks are now down here okay and then as a black male you are basically on the lower end of the totem pole Especially if you're not emasculated. So, I mean, Jonathan Major is done. And what I foresee is that if they ruin his career like this, he might commit the S word. Because this is the craziest thing you could ever hear in your life about. How much money did he make? He already, I guess he already made the money already because, right? Um... But that would just destroy him. That's going to devastate him if they take everything away from him. And I think that's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. So I think it's like LGBTIQ, whatever. Then it's Me Too. Then it's, it's probably white women or, or black people here. It's like, it's a, you know, it's a ladder. Okay. And he's way down on the bottom. So... Man, I like this guy. I love his acting. But that's how the cookie crumbles. This is American Flag. What do you think? I'm out. Stay sharp, people. Peace.